And so it begins. Gonna do a new game here. Getting started with something fresh, kinda. Uh, <laughs> not really. Actually, uh, we're starting this up for a second time around because we played this a couple days ago. But we're gonna do JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Golden Wind, or just JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, as the game seems to be called. Uh, listed under several places. But we had finished the Phantom Blood game couple days ago, and I jumped right into this one. I said, you know what, I'm going to give it a try, and we'll see how it plays, how it compares. Uh, did the first couple levels, and it seems like it's actually pretty damn good. <laughs> the only problem was it emulated like crap. And uh, again, we're doing the emulated versions because these games were never brought to the West, at least not as far as I know. There might be a PAL version, but I don't think there was. Uh, but there's no English translation, at least that I could find. So these games were fan translated uh, a couple of years ago. I think they put the finishing touches on some of the translations. So, you know, this was done fairly recently. And I've heard about them from time to time, uh, especially more recent years. I've been looking at them more often than not. Hadn't really seen any gameplay. We did uh, Phantom Blood a couple days ago. It was... Okay, I could have used some polishing. Very nice visuals, and it seems to cover the Phantom Blood story uh, pretty thoroughly. So I'm kind of expecting the same from this one, but this one seemed to have better gameplay. And the real kicker is, is this one was released some like five or six years before the Phantom Blood uh, game came out. So don't know what that's about, but seems okay so far. But yeah, we're going to start taking a look at this. I... Updated uh, PCSX2 to the 1.7 version, which apparently eliminates the high CPU usage for this game. So, hopefully it'll play a little bit better than it did when we initially tried to test it out before. Uh, I think I ran through the first level, and it seemed to do pretty okay, so... We'll kind of hope that uh, we have similar results here. And hopefully the fact that I'm streaming and recording doesn't change that too much. Uh, PCSX2 1.7. Boy, it sure does look different though. I'm assuming that they made some pretty major changes. So, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, get a little Fugo action, huh? Haven't seen him in a while. He wasn't in the, uh, the original story too long. And adjust the volume levels here just a bit, see if that kind of kicks it up. Okay. So everything, I think, looked fine before. I did turn the censorship off. Don't know what that affects necessarily, but usually don't like censored stuff. Oh yeah, and we'll uh, turn the autosave on. Just in case something happens. Do I want to format? Sure. Cool. Okay. I think we're set. Let's go ahead and get on into it. Uh, the way this game begins is with a little recap showing what happened in parts 1 through 4 to get to here. So, got a bit of catching up to do, but it'll cover it in some small detail. Korea. 1世紀以上にわたるリオとジョンスター家の因縁の物語である。1890年、ジョナサン・ジョンスター、イギリスの貴族ジョンスター教は命の恩人の息子リオを養子とし援助を与えた。Seems <laughs> And once again, I mean, considering how popular the series is, and granted, you know, it lends a lot of its popularity to the David Productions series that started in the early 2010s, but, um, yeah, I mean, I think the only reason they did this game as a game first was because that's kind of where the uh, original comic series was at at the time, or at least I think just finishing up with it. But it's weird that like six years later they went back to do part one and then they never continued on from there. We got a couple fighting games, but yeah, as far as video games and JoJo, there doesn't seem to be a whole lot there. 
次々と葬り去るしかし最後の究極生物カーズとの戦いは熾烈を極めた謎の宝石エイジャの積跡のパワーで真の究極生物となったカーズがジョセフに襲いかかるだがカーズは火山岩に吹き飛ばされ宇宙に放逐された1990年スキップ・オブ・ザ・スターダス・クルシェイダータイトル・シークエンス・プリティファースト・ジョジョは Oh, no, definitely not. Jojo <laughs> But just from a, like a video game perspective, it's kind of weird. And granted, I know that you know, this game came out before the one that we just played, but it is weird for us. Ah,、uh, there he is. To do a、uh, fan of blood and then skip right to Golden Wind. There, there's very, very little to do with、uh, <laughs> the, like, the first part of JoJo、uh, by the time you get to part five. Essentially, the, like, the strongest connection is that our main character here, Giorno Giovanna, he,、uh, he's the son of Dio,、uh, Dio Brando, who is you know, the main antagonist in Phantom Blood. But this is like 100, 100 years later or more. <laughs> the leaky eye guy, yeah. We should have just called him that from the get go. So, so far, I mean, just getting through these cutscenes, there's basically been no slowdown whatsoever. Not that I've seen. Oh, and <laughs> immediately, as soon as I say that, then it stutters a bit. <laughs> I jinxed it, yes. Just my luck. よし。信じようところでその手の中のものは何だいあまがあんあいぼうなんだこれはルカの右目だぜ汗をかいたどうせ意識がねえんだから持ってきたんだ<笑>この味は嘘をついている味だぜジョルノ・ジョバーナ手を握っていたのに奴も同じような能力を俺の名はブローノ・ブチャラティ答えろ質問はすでに拷問に変わっているんだぜ So the first thing that you know because my only experience the Golden Wind is the anime much like everything else Jojo related but、um, <clears throat> one of the things that I think is different mostly You know, obviously, there's the visual style and everything, slightly different with the colorations, but uh, uh, it's just that、uh, Jorno sounds so young. But thinking about it, I mean, he's supposed to be a teenager, so I mean, I guess being higher pitched is fine, but you know, I remember teenagers, they don't really sound like,、uh, <laughs> like they're children. Not all of them, anyway, but maybe his voice is just a little, little underdeveloped. But yeah, especially compared to the anime version, he sounds a lot more manly.、Um, Bucciolari sounds mostly the same, but he sounds, 
He's definitely not the same voice actor. He sounds like somebody else, though. I need to listen for a little bit to see, but I think he, he sounds a lot like someone else. Can't put my finger on it, though. Stand special attack. We got the dodge. There's a special attack. Switch to stand mode with L1. Use your stand to guard and attack. So, you know, jumping so many parts, they kind of gloss over the stand aspect of JoJo, which became a huge part. But stands were only introduced in part three, Stardust Crusaders. But essentially, a manifestation of one's fighting spirit. And each stand has like their own unique abilities. And not everybody's got a stand, but people of exceptional will in particular, so. Old Jorno's got gold experience here. And this was kind of a weird thing too, because I remember that, like, time slowed down while Uchilati was getting hit, but the only thing was is that I don't think they ever brought up that particular aspect of his ability again, <laughs> so it's kind of strange. Fulfilling certain criteria for each stage will reward you with secret factors. Secret factors increase your health and stand power, and some may inform you about your enemy. So, kind of like an RPG aspect to this game, just a bit. Oops, wasn't guarding. So there's a, a bit of a build-up in the Phantom Blood game. You can build up your zoom punch ability. Um, and in this one they call it the shoot. But it's when you like rapidly punch like that. You can sort of build up your attack. Seems to be the most effective way to actually beat people. Jorno's already got a couple more abilities, too. So he can, like, make inan... Like, bring life to inanimate objects, and then... Doesn't always seem to happen, but, like, if those inanimate objects get damaged or, you know, assaulted in some fashion, uh, the damage is reflected onto whoever's trying to attack it. So I think that's what's going on with the frog thing, but <laughs> we can't really see a good representation of that, I suppose. Okay, Butchelani's coming, part one. We did shoot two secret factor fulfillments. Only got a C, though. I feel like I got a B when I, we were testing this game out the other day. I feel like I did a little bit better, too. Oh, well. Auto save function going on there. この こいつ<笑> You say that jokingly, but that's actually what they call this stand in the English version. Okay, 
Oh, yeah. A lot of the stands were originally named certain things, and then usually when they get localized into English versions, they end up changing it. Um, a lot of that is because of potential IP infringement, I suppose. <laughs> it's stupid. But, okay, defeat Puchelani before time runs out. Alright, so. So he starts running around. But a lot of the stands are named after, and we talked about this in Phantom Blood briefly, but they're named after musical acts, musical groups, uh, musical artists, a lot of stuff from the music industry. Uh, songs, so there's a lot of potential for, especially how stingy the music business is, a lot of potential for lawsuits. I think back to the time when uh, Ion Maiden was coming out. It was originally going to be named Ion Maiden, and then the representatives of Iron Maiden, the band, uh, threatened a huge lawsuit against them to the point where they just gave up and ended up changing the name to uh, Ion Fury. So, you know, there's an example right there. Sucks, but that's yeah, kind of how things go, unfortunately. But uh, the original name for Buccellati's stand was Sticky Fingers, uh, which is, you know... I mean, it's a term, too. I think it's kind of stupid, but I guess contextually, when you have a bunch of other stands named other things um, that are relate to music, they probably would have a case there, but it's still stupid. Yeah, suck it. trying to catch up to him. We've only got a limited time here. What's Sticky Fingers? So Sticky Fingers is a uh, album by the Rolling Stones. Um, and it, at first it doesn't make sense because it's like, what does that have to do with zippers? But when you think about the album cover for that uh, and specifically the album release, not any re-release with like uh, CDs or anything like that, but with the album release, there was a working zipper on there. It was like a pair of pants. It was like some dude's pants. <laughs> what the hell? Like a stand, like, beat the shit out of him for a second. Ah, yes. Disappearing into people gimmick. Anyway, you could unzip the pants on the album cover, on the original release of that, so... That's where the name and the gimmick comes from. Sorry. There he is. Uh, I think we killed that person. Oops. Oh. Can't use my stand ability. Shit. I could charge it and roll too. Might 
It's looking hard to hit them on occasion. The shoot ability seems to target pretty well. Your stand will just go straight for the enemy, but uh, like if you're just doing regular melee attacks, eh, sometimes doesn't work out so great. Oh, right. He turns the ladybugs into, um, to use as like a tracking method. Would have been handy for the trying to find the person gimmick. Can't seem to get him with that. There we go. Other thing I noticed with this game when we were testing it out the other day, oh, D rank, come on, uh, was that the music is actually pretty damn good. Music was okay in the Phantom Blood game, but I felt like it was mostly forgettable. Uh, sort of had sort of a electronic sound to it as well. But this one, I don't know. It seems to take in you know, parts of the area that they're in as well. You get little, lots of string, you get, um, what's that, that, that piano? I forget, it's a keyed instrument, but, uh, it's not quite a piano, it's like a smaller one, but it has a very fancy tone to it. You get, like, little accordion, so, it's, a uh, nice soundtrack so far. A rare set of stage drawings appears, okay. <laughs> they came out of nowhere. The drawings just manifested themselves. あんたはいい人だからな。ギャングだけどいい人だ。あんたは薬をやっているこの少年を見て、ショックを受けて一瞬攻撃をやめた。ですよね。あんたがショックを感じずためらわない人なら。僕は今頃バラバラになって地面に散らばっていた。だから攻撃するのはやめにしたんです。薬を売るやつは許さない。とあんたはそう思っている。そして彼に薬を売っているのはあんたのとこのボスだ。そこにあんたは矛盾を感
I think I actually like it more than most of the other parts of JoJo, but yeah, this one, I mean, like I said, it's sort of the backbone, the structure. Eh, it ain't that great. It's more about the journey and, you know, what happens along the way. But uh, old Giorno, he's really upset that there's drugs being distributed in his hometown area. So he's basically going to take over the uh, gang that's distributing the drugs around town. That's his ultimate goal. And he's going to be a gang star. Something that I don't think they referenced that much, except in the first couple episodes. <laughs> and then maybe at the end. But that's his goal. And he's gonna he's gonna get into passion. Gang initiation. I think that's where we're at right now. Oh, I forgot that uh, circle uh, backs you out. I'm used to doing it the other way. Napoli School. Oh, we got the comic book panel cutscenes again. This <laughs> Initiation process. They don't they really don't get into the details. I mean, I, you know, you can only do so much with a video game, especially back then. But I don't think Koichi is going to be making an appearance. They didn't introduce him in the intro to this game. すまんのう。ご覧の通り階段掃除をしとったんじゃ。しぶきだけで水がかからなくてよかった。ストップロマン。なんてことだ。まずいぞ。あ、誰か。時間経ってないのに、炎が。なんてことだ。炎がどうし
I mean, that rumor's been spinning around for a while, but it seems to have kicked up more recently. But that was like... I'm trying to think of when the most recent I heard about that. Like, maybe two weeks ago, people were talking about, oh, Metal Gear Solid 3 remake, and uh, something about Castlevania. But I don't know if they actually have any plans or what. There was a couple other announcements today, though. I'm trying to think of what it was. There's one game that nobody gives a shit about except for me that had an announcement today, but uh, there was something else. I'm trying to think of what it was. I'm looking it up here, seeing if there's any video game news. Now, somebody was telling me yesterday something about there being a Suicide Squad trailer release or something. I'm not terribly interested in that, but um, I guess that's a thing. That wasn't the thing that I remember hearing about. Hey, didn't this guy float in the uh, <laughs> in the anime? Um, oh, there were some games that came out, like Sons of the Forest came out. I don't know if it was all released today, but there was that. There was um, Octopath Traveler 2. Um, PSVR 2 came out recently. Yakuza Ishin came out recently. So, I mean, there's been developments, but I don't know if there's anything major. Um, if Konami is going to announce something, they're going to do it on their own. Well, maybe. The only thing is, they don't really have a platform. It's not like they have... It's not like they're Sony and they could do a state of play or Nintendo and they could do their directs or whatever. They might, but, you know, how far is that going to get them? <laughs> nobody, nobody talks or thinks about Konami at all, so I don't know if that would be a correct assessment either. I mean, I'm sure that they would announce it at some point, you know, if they were going to do something. But at the same time, um... Yeah, but that was at the Tokyo Game Show. That wasn't, like, on their own. <laughs> Up. I'm like missing. I don't know what there's. A, there's like a gimmick to this, and I think I missed it. <laughs> and I'm trying to think back to what happened. Waggle? Okay, I'll try to waggle. I'm trying to think back to the anime, and I'm like, what the hell happened with this thing? There was a trick to it. There was some sort of gimmick, like you could, like you couldn't step in the shadow, or you had to step in the shadow. Now I don't remember. <laughs> Yes, they they really want us to like Suicide Squad. They, that's like their next big ticket thing. Justice League didn't work out so well, so they're like, all right, we have a new group of superheroes. Oh shit! I think it had something to do with the light. And there's obviously, I mean, you know, this is a PS2 game. Lighting and shading wasn't exactly something that always happened. Look, he can't step out of the shadow. Okay, so I think he's only affected. I'm losing a shitload of health. Can I restart this? <laughs> Well, that dream might be coming to an end real soon, bud. If I get too close, he's gonna grab me, though. Okay. Well, at least I hit him there. <laughs> he, like, he tried to lash out at me a second ago, but it didn't work out for him. There it is. Anyway, the other thing I was going to say... Oh, God damn it. Okay, so I think he could only move in the shadows. Can also like manifest himself between them too. So probably walking through here isn't the greatest idea. Can he attack me via my shadow? <laughs> ah! Like he can. Son of a 
bitch. All right, see, I, I already figured it out, Jorno. <laughs> it's just the problem being able to find some way to execute this. Anyone got a flashlight? <laughs> God damn. Anyway, the other thing I was going to say before I lose my train of thought again was um, when I had seen, when they had shown gameplay off of Suicide Squad previously, it didn't seem like that interesting a game. Like, everybody just had a gun, which I thought was boring. I'm like, well, you got a bunch of superheroes or supervillains here. And they all have unique abilities or whatever, but at the end of the day, in terms of like what the gameplay boiled down to, everybody just had some form of gun. And Captain Boomerang had a boomerang gun. And Killer Croc, I think, had a big gun. <laughs> it's like, you couldn't do something with, like, melee or make it a little bit more interesting. Okay. So we just have to... <sighs> to drag him out into the sunlight. It's a lot easier said than done, though. I cannot hit this guy for nothing. I thought he was, like, attacking me via my own shadow, but... I think it's just the birds. I mean, it would make sense that he, you know. He'd be able to get you from your own shadow, but I don't think he's actually doing it. Yeah, I know. Hitting him is the biggest issue. No, I'm not gonna make the time. Oh, I see what happens, too. That's clever. That's clever. <laughs> I think it's turning to night as the timer goes down, which by that point, you're just screwed. Okay, once the enemy attacks, you can stop them, dodge the attack, then counter. Well, that's what I was trying to do, but... Okay, he just stops my punches. Very cool. Fair bit of waggling going on in this game. Okay. Alright, well we got to this part quicker. No. I already forgot about the goddamn birds. Oh. What did I miss? Okay, we're doing better. It bends. Oh. I didn't even get out of the roll animation. Come on. I'm uncomfortable about trying to, like, charge the shot ability, too. I wonder if this works. Oh, I don't even have time to activate it. Shrek! 
damn it. That was like the one opportunity. There we go. You get a better dodge roll if you don't have your stand out, so. Alright. Ah. That's a good idea. I did not know they were destructible. Limit the amount of spaces that he could attack me from. Oh, okay, then he's dead. <laughs> Alright. I'll take it. Yeah, that works. Retired. Now oh, we got an A rank for that. Not bad. Expose Black Sabbath to sunlight. Oh, we could do it while he's hiding, too. Probably. I think that's what they mean by that. Watch Sabbath hide in a bird's shadow. Attack Black Sabbath. Destroy a stone pillar. I wonder if that was all the secret factors, because there's only room for four. Oh, yeah, it must have been, because 100 points. All right, all right, not bad. What's up, Kiba? Welcome back. Old Black Sabbath. Band extraordinaire and uh, also a stand. Okay. Got some stage art again. Yukurito. <laughs> たったそれ一つだけだ。お前の行くべき道は。how would he actually know if the lighter went out, though? Well, aside from the stand. But I guess the stand worked remotely. Usually the remote stands don't relay information back. <laughs> Yay, we did it! Go on, be known. Good to see you. How did he get past security? Just got home from work. Welcome back. Surprisingly, it's been a day off for me. I feel like I don't get too many of those. Although I'd rather have the weekends off and not uh, a miscellaneous day in the week. そんなことはどっちでもいい。とにかく生きて炎を持ってきた。ああいう若くて何も知らん奴は利用できる。どっちだろうと我々の都合のいいようにな。ポルコ。お前はあの無関係のじいさんの命を侮辱した。だからお前
17. Fugo, 16. Wow, he's younger than I remember. Bunch of kids running this gang. ポルポが死んだから自動的に金は我らのものとなった。俺はこの金を組織に収めて幹部の座を手に入れる。ムチャラキ、いいかね。ペリーコロさん。わざわざお越しいただいてありがとうございます。それより連絡の時言っていた組
And this game is definitely more unique than, I mean, I guess part of that would have to lend itself to the whole stand thing, but, uh, like, this game is totally different from Phantom Blood, which was kind of just cut and dry. How do I use Aerosmith? Well, I gotta use the stand, but I'm like, how, how's it gonna work? <laughs> this is very strange. Woo! Okay, the only thing that sucks is that um, you have to stand in one spot when you're using it. I'm not a huge fan of that. Also, it does not do a whole lot of damage. This is pretty cool, though. I'm on a, I, I, you know, I guess it's better than switching or, you know, sticking with Giorno the whole time. He's so fast. <laughs> I wonder if it does bigger damage when he's small. No. That sucks. The bullets should be bigger in relation to his body. I'm gonna see if Narancha can do a little more damage just on his own. He's got a knife. Oh shit. God damn it. As soon as he hits you, you already start turning small. I don't know if there's a... Oh look, he gets a little bit bigger. Okay. So there is a time limit of sorts, but uh... I think I'm dead. Shit. Alright. I guess that's probably why you want to stick with uh, <laughs> using Aerosmith. Yeah, we'll get him this time. Maybe. <laughs> he just scurries between objects. I mean, to be quite honest, for a PS2 game, I don't know how I would have adapted this, aside from doing something like this, but... It's it's an odd thing, like an odd battle to recreate, as it would be with some of them, I would assume, just because of the whole stand situation. Like, are they going to do the one where Narancha says, like, the opposite of what he means? <laughs> Is that going to be, like, some visual novel segment of the game? Oh yeah, I didn't even notice the radar down there. I heard it, but I wasn't really paying attention to it. I'm surprised they adapted that. Okay, well that's kind of the shitty thing too, is the stand runs out of energy. This kick is getting me nowhere. <laughs> He's kicking the shit out of this car. I mean, just doing this. Oh, yeah, he's got like objects in his pocket too. Just doing like a running slam seems to work okay too. Kind of sucks about being small though is that uh, they limit the amount of space that you can actually, you know, run through. Get away from me. Right. <laughs> Man, I really want to kick the shit out of him when he's small like that, but I don't think it's possible. I can't even kick him when he's big. <laughs> you just figured that out? I guess Naranjo wasn't like the brightest guy in the room. Yeah. 
Too late. I'll switch back to Aerosmith. I mean, the gun does a decent amount of damage. We, he, like, he's been able to kill people with it that are fully grown. So I'm surprised with this guy. Unless he's, like, making the bullets smaller. I forget exactly how this fight went, but... I'm surprised that it's not doing as good as it could be. Oh, we can blow up cars? Shit, I didn't even think about that. Nope. We could destroy the pillars, we could break cars, we could destroy lampposts, I guess. Also, the flaming pillars hurt us. <laughs> hey, he didn't make me small. And I was freely able to kick him in the balls. I gotta be honest, when they started this part in the anime, I wasn't sure if the Nancho was a boy or girl. <laughs> it was very hard to tell. I feel like with this adaptation, I probably would have been able to tell a little bit more. I don't know. He's a very either a very muscular and flat girl, or he's a very lithe boy. But we got there eventually. <laughs> he didn't even get in that one. Ah, shit. Oh, it's not him that needs to touch me, it's the stand. That makes sense, but I wasn't even thinking about that. This game doesn't spell out a whole lot to you, but uh, a lot of the stuff, it makes sense when you think about it. I just have to be a free-form thinker. I wanna see if I could blow up the car while he was hiding behind it, but I don't know what the range on the explosion would be. <laughs> well, it hurt me too, damn it. I guess the stand got affected. Oh, you can crash the stand into the car too, god damn it. <sighs> it was a cool fight, it just, it, it's, uh, it's a little tedious, it takes a while. I think I'm going to be able to destroy this truck, or what I want to since I'm already next to it, but I'm hoping he doesn't destroy it. I headbutted a plane. <laughs> no, 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 more hiding spots for you. See, now that was a point in the actual, you know, story. He was trying to find them, and he couldn't because there was a lot of rats in the area, but... You know, there was one blip on the radar that was breathing heavier than the others, so it was him, but... Um, I can track him pretty easily. He's not that hard to find. <laughs> so, you can only do so much, I guess. Oh, shit! The truck blew up! I didn't think it would. Since, you know, most of it seems to be like a bed. Alright. 
That one took a while. I didn't even know Stan had a name. <laughs> Little feet. Survive being shrunk without being hurt. Destroy a car. And we missed two others. That's all right, I guess. Not the greatest showing, but we did it. Oh, well. I'm trying to think of what's next. They they skipped over, like, one of the first battles with Mista and uh, that guy that could block things. I don't know what his ability was. I gotta say, the texture work isn't nearly as good as it was in the Phantom Blood game. That was like the one thing that was above and beyond. But uh, the models and the animations look a little bit better, I think. colors the color schemes are pretty cool I'm, I'm again i'm only familiar with the anime adaptations so i don't know if they were different this one obviously coming out this game came out in 2002 so it was completely based off the comic but um i don't know i don't know if the i mean it doesn't seem usually when it comes to those mangas they don't uh have a whole lot of color panels <laughs> just because they're part of like magazines and whatnot that only print in black and white in the anime yeah it's pretty vibrant. I don't know that, uh, I mean, I feel like the surrounding areas, like the whole backgrounds and everything was uh, like very, very vibrant in uh, part four. And then when I got to part five, it felt a little bit more muted, but the characters were more, uh, I don't know, elevated. <laughs> Boss's second mission, get the key. I'm already doing this. This is when they go to uh, Pompeii. You'll find the beware of dog sign. You'll僕は、ボスからの連絡があるまでここを動くべきではないと思います。懸命なボスならきっと何か逃げる方法を指示してくれるはずです。下っ端のお前の意見なんぞ誰も聞いちゃいねえぞ、ジョルノ。ブチャル
JoJo World has stands, and the people that don't have stands can't see uh, other people's stands. It looks like just something invisible is manipulating stuff. Oh, this guy sounds so official. Huh, are we gonna play as Fugo? That's weird because his stand is like only does one thing. I guess, well, this is like the only thing that he ever did in this whole part anyway, so I guess if you gotta get him in there. Survive for two minutes, the mirror will reverse his horizontal movement. Uh oh. Oh shit. I don't like that. It reverses horizontal movement, but not uh, vertical, <laughs> which makes this so much more confusing. We just have to survive. Okay, I don't, yeah, we probably can't even get his stand out. I punch things? Guess not. So Fugo's stand was weird. It like emits some sort of flesh-eating disease. But that's like all it can do. I mean, I guess it could punch people, but... I don't know that it has any other abilities, per se. Ah, man, this movement thing has really screwed me up. God damn it. Oh yeah, he's coming in through the reflections. I just have to avoid all that glass. Easier said than done, though. This movement thing is shit. Like, reverse controls I could work with, but just reversing a single axis? That's super weird. At least this level's long. Oh, God damn. Okay. Well, I mean, you know, for not doing anything and not even hitting him once, I guess it could have been worse. Figure out the stand's ability, or warn Giorno about the, ability, the enemy's ability, and then see a mirrored trash can label. What? <laughs> okay. I'll remember that one. Hey, we got 600 points. Kisama's I always read the labels. カラスが。カラスが。I think the shitty thing about that ability was it could affect the user as well. No immunity there. Dagamoidaro. <laughs> 
だが俺たちの指令はキーをゲットすることだそれが最も大切なことなんだそうは思いませんフーゴは敗北したわけではありません彼を助けるべきです違う3人とも全滅する危険を犯すことがまずいんだもう一度言う先に進むぜ来い拒否しますフーゴを助け敵を倒すことがみんなの安全を守ることですこの状況では先輩である俺の命令が絶対だそれを拒否するってんだな So close 覚悟してろよただしてめえが生き残ったらの話だがな犬の床へのところにあるキーを手に入れた。Oh, どこだ ?They actually put the dog there. I was wondering if they would. お前が言う、そのキーを俺がぶんどってやればいいんだな。なになんだこのなにまさか。俺の姿が見えたのなら。Probably should just start getting rid of all the mirrors. Oh. Do we get to play as a bot show now? Because <laughs> his stand doesn't really do anything either. Use stand mode to switch between the two worlds and attack Eluso. Fugo's stand was outside the mirror, so he could still control his stand. But we're in the mirror world. Oh, shit. Yeah! And the controls are still reversed. Okay, so he switched then. How was that? Still can't break the mirrors. Oh my god. <laughs> this is really difficult to pull off. Come on, Abacho, your stand kind of sucks, but we could do something, right? I don't know, like, his shoot ability is not punching related. I don't know what it does. It doesn't do anything. It, like, screeches for a second. Finally. Other way. I can't even hit him. Still in there? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like, wait a second. Alright, I'm assuming that. <sighs> Alright, yeah, that was. It's a bunch of bullshit, is what that was. Um, <laughs> the His booty blue stand. Whatever sort of ability we can do with it, it wouldn't be able to manifest while we're actually here in the mirror world. <sighs> but... I thought he hopped in between. Mm. Yep, 
I don't get it. So when you use the shoot ability in, uh, with any other stand, they just punch rapidly, which you can do some decent damage that way. Obviously when it was, uh, Aerosmith, you were literally shooting a gun, so... <laughs> that mean that worked, but... Wasn't exactly... On par with everything else, but when it comes to Moody Blues, which is this stand right here, he doesn't do anything, he just screeches. So I'm guessing it's useless. At least when you're in this world, though, the controls aren't reversed, but that just means I have to get back used to it when we go back into the mirror world. It's like playing Sly all over again. Every time we had to switch to Carmelita. Honestly, the best strategy might just be to wait for him to get into the real world and then not even worry about the mirror except for just trying to avoid this guy. But he's adept at grabbing me and then slitting my throat, so that doesn't work out. <laughs> Was that a taunt? <laughs> Shouldn't even bother. Gonna die here in a second. Uh. But we've made more progress. It looks like his health bar possibly might lead to something else. Like, there we go. Okay, thank God. Because I was I noticed a portion of it was lighter. That sucked. That was <laughs> that was not a fun battle. Um, so we just had to get him down to a certain amount. At least the, the developers knew. They're like, this is going to be some bullshit. So we're not going to make it too difficult. I like how one of the secret factors was just to clear the stage. <laughs> just beat it. All right, cool. Well, all right. <laughs> exactly. It was so hard that beating it was a bonus. I remember when watching this in the anime, I was confused as to what the hell was going on. But then I guess when they explain it here, it makes sense. だけが外に出ることを許可しろ。だが、ウィルスは許可しない。外に鏡の外に逃げられた。ジョブ。お前がせっかく自分の身を犠牲にしてここまで入ってきたのに。出たか。鏡の外に。やはり出て逃げると思
Why does he do that? He like scratches himself or something? It's weird. <laughs> what are you doing? I remember him doing something to himself, like he was hitting himself or scratching himself, something weird. Son of a bitch. Pulling all the stops. Oh wow. Fugo's got some strength behind him. That didn't help me in the slightest. That probably actually hurt me more than anything since I don't have anything to hide behind. But it was impressive. Damn it. In my brain, it's hard to I don't know. It's one of this is one of them hookups. But I keep trying to move down when I want to move up and vice versa just because the, the horizontals flipped, so I get the feeling like you know, the vertical axis will be flipped as well. To hit him with them capsules, though, I mean, that takes a lot of health out. That's it for his health. This is the tricky part. It's when he comes back into the mirror world. It's, I think we basically just need to hit him until he retreats. But, he starts going, like, ape shit. for a couple good hits. Come on, Fugo! If you hold it too long, too, then he just like uh, starts scratching himself. I'm not too sure what triggers that. No, man, we got him pretty damn close, too.
Actually, when he has a stand permanently out, then it's actually a little better than fighting him otherwise, but... Still, you have to get into, you know... A decent rhythm. At least we broke all the capsules and everything. Damn. As long as he's actually stuck in the real world. I could just get him out of that. Oh, good. His stand actually. I was like, if this guy's stand doesn't actually, you know, stop on him, that's bullshit, because mine does. Recover's pretty damn quick, though. That sucks. Cutting it so damn close, too. It's one of the more frustrating things about this. Ugh. Almost had him for a good little combo there. Take one more of those and I'm dead. Oh no! <laughs> yep! I called it! Man, about the same amount of health. I feel like we were just about there during the last uh, fight as well. I just wish he'd leave his stand out permanently. Again, when he does that, it's so much easier to actually try to work with him. When he starts popping in and out of the mirror. I mean, the grapple attacks suck too, because that takes out a lot of damage, but... Yep, it's, uh... Oh, look! <laughs> Aww. Oh, and then he starts scratching himself. Come on. Damn it. Cheesed him for a couple hits, which was nice, but... 
<sighs> is there? There's no waggle for that, is there? So last time we were getting grappled by a stand, we were able to like waggle our way out of it. Too. This is a dire situation. Cheese him again? I would if I could. Easier said than done. Nice smack. So all I was doing to cheese him before was like this uppercut attack. Pumps him up in the air. There you go. It doesn't work all the time, though, which sucks. <sighs> what sucks about that, too, is I can't actually see when that's coming to hit me. And I don't think there's, like, an audible indicator, either, like, with his stand disappearing or something like that. Swim back here easily enough. Uh oh. Oh, he's so close. Oh, there you go. That was hard. That was a hard battle. It's not surprising we got a B rank. I think there's only two uh, secret factors for this one as well. You got clear the stage, and it looks like there's a little blue bar for potentially something else. But what that may be, I don't know. Maybe it's like you use all your capsules or something. Oh, no, well, no, I actually did, I did that uh, in previous fights, and I don't remember getting a secret factor for it. Yeah, it was a little rough. やったぞ。鏡から出るだ。汚染された僕を鏡の中に引きずり込んだ時点で、奴の敗北は決定したんです。僕が死ぬより先に鏡の世界が解除されたので、僕は死ぬ前にこのヘビに会うことができたんですからね。その蛇、ひょっとして死ん
アバキオがここまで木を運んでくれなかったら敵は倒せなかったそれより早く犬の床のところにある木を取りに行ってくださいわかったジョルノくそジョルノボコボコにぶん殴ってやろうと思ったが俺がこんなんじゃそれもできねえか And everyone mostly looks the same. I don't think there's any changes in the、uh, like、actual composition or the style of what they're wearing, but I do agree. I think the anime probably has better colors.、Uh, although, I gotta say, I don't mind Giorno's blue、uh, suit or outfit or whatever, but Fugo definitely. I liked whatever. He was, he was blonde in the、uh, anime adaptation as well.、Um, but I think he wore green or something. Whatever the hell he's wearing there, it's not, not quite as good. Um, I'm gonna BRB for just a couple minutes. I'm gonna grab some water. Go do something real quick, but I will、uh, be right back. Let me see if this actually pulls up. We can listen to the nice music of the background menu. Be right back. Alright, we are back. This. Pull that up and. Chapter 5.1 Grateful Dead. I don't really remember what happened next. What was Grateful Dead? Bullet train. Oh, okay. I remember now. ブチャラティたちは指令通りフィレンツィ駅特急に乗ったこのポンペイで手に入れたキーに書かれてある指示に従って列車に乗ったがネアポリス駅6番ホーム1号車前にある水飲み場にいるカメにこのキーを使うそして列車にて娘をベネツィアまで連れてくること And they never、uh, named the turtle or the stand that the turtle is or was but、uh, I think it ended up being called Mr. President We're reading that after the fact. ブチャラティたちはすでにこの列車のどこかに乗ってるようだな。おいペシー。この列車を先っちょから決まで、とことんやるぜ。どっかに潜んでいるブチャラティども。引きずり出してやる。Forget these guys' names. I think it's Prosciutto and someone else. They went into the turtle. Well, it's not like they're in the turtle's stomach, but like the key has a, a furnished room, and the turtle can like put them into the key room. It's strange. Pesci, yeah. Oh, Naranja, It's good old man voice. Man, we haven't even done anything with Mista yet. It's like for a while there in the anime, I was feeling like Mista was gonna be, you know,、uh, part five's Polnareff. He was just like involved in everything. Loading up the gun. I'm assuming we get to play as him. 
Although this part, I mean, I'm trying to think of who was involved. I think it was mostly Mista and Puchalati. Uh, ねえ、あんた。助けてほしいんだよ。俺、どうなっちまってんだよ。おい、お前、向こう行ってろ。バカめ。クレイ。クレイトプレデッド。時間は素早いんだぜ。兄貴、プロシュタニキはやっぱり好きや。これぐらいのことで騒ぐんじゃねえ。俺たちチームはな、そこら辺の大口叩いている負け犬どもとは訳が違うんだからな。ぶっ
I don't know if I could affect where I can pop out of, but that was neat. Oh, he zipped up his leg. Nice. wonder if that makes him immobile or something. There was that attack. That sort of did something. It was long range punch. Yeah, it's grabbing me. It's really killing me. Oh good, I can punch the stand. Oh come on, how did that not work? I only ever get him for... He stands about to disappear. Ah. Like, that's my best attack right there. The shoot, as they call it. But I can't charge it up all the way. Okay, I was able to get a two charge on that one, but it is hard to hit. Long move to make. There's a way to get him. Oh, I keep forgetting the waggle. There's a way to get him to throw a long range punch, but I don't know how to do it. I guess the zipper works pretty well. Away the stand, please. Oh, God. How did he punch through the stand? I'm dead. Alright. 
with a little more maneuvering, I feel like I could probably do a little bit better. Might actually be better to uh, get rid of some of these tables and stuff. Right, let me do this first. We're good, I can skip that. I'm not too sure what stick I'm supposed to waggle. Usually it's the right stick, but uh, something could be different here. Kind of curious, too, if there's any other things I can use to control the temperature. Somehow. I guess. So, when the aging thing takes over... Shit. Your health bar starts to go gray, so I guess just going back to the ice machine repeatedly is, works. I should just stop trying to hit him like that in that particular instance because it's doing nothing for me. Oh, shit. <laughs> Waggling too hard. Jesus. Shit. He hadn't done that gas attack yet. That sucked. machine is going to run out of ice at some point. Ah! Oh, it's only happened twice, but I hate when it miss, misses an attack like that. It shouldn't. Oh. I 
think I called it. I thought it was weird when the ice machine, like, uh, burst a huge amount of ice like that. Shit. He's close, but I don't think I can make it. That seems to be the best method, is just to use the ground zipper. Uh, use the ground zipper to immobilize him and then punch him in the air like that. Third time's a charm. At least I think it's the third time. Actually, it might be the fourth time. I don't remember now. Good at blocking them attacks. I think I can manipulate, uh, where we... Great time to discover that. I can manipulate where he pops up out of the zipper. Other way! Other way. Something weird happens with that, too. There's still little nuances that I don't even know if it is supposed to be affected or not, but sometimes, like, he'll switch over even though he's in stand mode. He'll do, like, his basic attacks. So, I don't know how that works, but I'm almost dead here, and then he's got so much health. I'm just gonna die. I've lost so much health off the bat, but yeah, there's um, I don't know why it does that. It sucks, but like sometimes, even though you got your stand out, he'll just switch to doing the basic attacks, which have so much less range. Special. <laughs> Game almost broke there for a second. That's how you do the long range attack. 
It's like you have to be moving and then you press X at the same time. Doesn't seem to be as effective against them though. The best way to get him is to have him attack like that and then sort of move in, move back, and then move in immediately after. Okay, I think I'm figuring out the formula. Oh, missed that first time, but we got a good two charge in there. Bad one. I think that was it for the ice too, because last time it popped out that many, we ended up losing the ability to use it, so. type thing. getting tight again. It's another bad situation. finished him off, but god, missing out on it sucks. Oh my god, look at that health bar. <laughs> That's nuts. 1% health, E rank. There are other secret factors that we could have gotten, but I have no clue what they are. Not like the biggest wor uh, level to work around either, so. <sighs> Take the ice dispenser. I guess giving me hints on what the other ones would be would be spoiling it now. Huh? <laughs> Jipper, the Omeo Conoresha Caroida, Lucas, a Kaiju Silva, 
5人の部下は復活する娘も守れる外は時速150キロだとうわブチャラティ貴様あハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハsome range on it. Oh, this guy's still aging me, too. I like the music. Some of it reminds me of stuff like Klonoa or like small little PS1 games. Threads of Fate. Oh wow, dud. Very quickly, too. Um, that was weird. So, like, the other problem is that uh, this asshole's still using Grateful Dead against you as well. That keeps his distance. Breaking my stand. Can I stop this guy? Damn. Like, I figured, like, resisting him would be able to make you break the line or at least stop him from doing that. Or he, like, yanks you? That does the biggest damage. Oh, 
ちにいますね。I need to like corner him. He's a slippery bastard. And actually being able to hit him is like a lucky break. Pretty tough. We did, I mean, obviously we did better than that first time we fought him, but still only got his health bar halfway down. I don't know if I should be waggling during that part. I mean, it said to, like, press the buttons, so I'm assuming we should probably do that. Yeah, I mean, pushing back on the analog stick definitely prevents you from moving towards him faster. But it also goes on for so long. Does that goddamn yank and it does so much damage. So much damage. Like a quarter of your health. attack it's really hard to like avoid the line and then on top of that just getting that yank like I'm wondering if there's another button that's specifically better Fingers, where you at? Guard. Either. 
<laughs> it's like throwing new stuff at me every time, or at least different circumstances. But uh, with that time, like, Prejuto was doing something with Grateful Dead, usually I just walk over to him and it stops the thing. Not that time. We did a little smack. been able to break it every once in a while during this round, but like I don't know if there's a specific button I should be pressing. through the beam. Maybe I could find out if there's a particular button I was supposed to be pressing. Just real quick. I found a guide, but it is super lean. <laughs> mm, I don't know. That's not even... Um, hmm. It's not even a full guide. It just It's a secret guide. All right. No wonder it's so lean. Pesci with a level 3 stand shoot. That's even gonna be possible. Right now what I'm pressing is just like, just to account for all of them is all of the face buttons. So I've got my thumb hitting all four. not hit that shoot for the life of me.
Yeah, you're dead now. Shut up. Didn't get it that time. He ran into it. I didn't know it worked like a landmine where they could like run over it. Man, it runs so fast too. Reminds me of the damn uh, bird shadows when we were fighting Black Sabbath. Really, really hard to avoid sometimes. Sometimes when I cast a line out like that and I avoid it, I probably should just go wait for the attack. Hard to hit when you don't have a standout, though. He's gonna get me. Okay. So elusive. <laughs> no. AI just spams the dodge roll until he's pretty clear away from you. Trying to pay attention to you, man. Oh no. And my arm is killing me from all this button mashing too. Actually, doing a decent amount of damage from that, just like uh, that attack. Look how much damage that does. Maybe I should just use that. Interrupts him pretty well, too. I 
about that attack too is that you don't need to pull the stand out for it. All right, well, we got a new tactic, I guess. Honestly, I feel like it's RNG based. Because sometimes I'll be hitting it like really fast, I won't get it. Sometimes I'll be hitting it at the same rate, or even feel like it's slower and I won't get it, or I'll, I'll break out actually. So. The only thing about that attack, and it does pretty good, is that uh, it seems to get him to spam the uh, rod cast attack. And again, like with the stand attacks, it seems like there's a bit of automation there, and there's like some some form of uh, like automatic tracking. But when you don't hit with the standout, it's a little bit harder. Standing cheap trick should have been. This one's hard. Surprisingly, I think it's a little bit harder even than uh, that previous one we did with Prosciutto. But this guy is not letting up. Um, mostly it's the distance thing, which I guess is what already gets brought up. Was, uh, you know, Bocciolati is a bit more of a close range guy, and this guy's got quite, quite the grasp with his uh, fishing rod. I forget what his stand is called, it's like Lazy Boy or something like that. Getting the secret factors helps because, you know, that increases your health. Yeah, there's no stopping attack. something that works. Too bad I didn't have him backed up against that train a little bit better. Oh, 
If I can get him to uh, actually hit that lion while he's backed up against the train, I might be able to stun lock him like that. It's because he, he recoils so far that I think that's the thing that's supposed to prevent you from spamming that. Like, look how far he takes a hit. Backs up, like, six steps. <laughs> We've been doing a pretty good job. Here I'm thinking like the basic attacks usually pretty like suck. But uh really saving my ass here. Oh he's got a good grip on me though. Oh, he's gonna kill me like this. <laughs> spamming the basic attack and now he's got a rod shoved up his ass beach boy that's what his stand was yeah that wasn't great but um we got it done <laughs> holy shit i mean the interesting thing with this game and i guess i kind of like it's not the same thing you can't use like the same tactics over and over and over again because uh, every battle so far has given me something different. Compare that to the Phantom Blood game where it was like, defeat this amount of enemies in, you know, this amount of time, or defeat X amount of enemies to progress, or, and it, you know, you handle them all pretty much the same, and then once you start getting new abilities, then you can start mixing it up a little bit, but there are definitely aspects to it that you can utilize more frequently such as like the hummel and ground punch and all that that stunned enemies and in, in their tracks so you know you you fell into a kind of a routine with this one i feel like not only because of the different characters and the different stands but just trying to beat other characters with different stands that makes you kind of have to uh diversify your approach on how you try to handle the situation so it's, it's interesting. Something different every time. いつの間にカメを持ってきやがったんだ。カメごと中の俺の仲間を叩きつけようってのか。俺はもう死ぬんだぜ。何をやったってそうは見てろ。お前の心に部下を失ったという絶望を残してくたばれるんなら、俺は
That uh, that was a difficult series of battles. I mean, this game's thrown a bit at us that have been, you know... I don't know, like I said, you just have to kind of diversify your approach and it hasn't been all that easy to get through, but... Uh, yeah, those last two. Whew, really kicking my ass. So, I think... Um, I'm gonna have to call it here, though. Gotta do something and get on dinner in a minute, so... Can't uh, stick around too long, but... I'm glad we were able to get a little bit in this. Almost three hours, probably like two and a half with introductions and everything, so... Got a decent stream out of it. We'll come back to this. Uh, there's still quite a bit of story left, so I'm assuming that the game will be following in suit. But, uh, yeah, we'll... Uh, we'll come back to this probably sometime over the weekend. I think I'm going to be starting up a new game, too. Uh, past few months I've been juggling two games, so I think I'll stick with that tradition, and we'll start up something else new here, but... What that is, I'm not too sure yet. I've got to lock that down. But I'm going to take off for now. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it, as always. And, uh, yeah. I think Friday maybe not going to stream, but uh, maybe Saturday or probably Sunday. Although I haven't been streaming on Sunday. <laughs> Even though I said... Oh, it's a perfect day, because I got, usually got the day off and everything, but I think I might do it this time around. Anyway, let's go ahead and raid Scoob. He's doing some wild arts or something. You guys take care, have a good night, and we'll see you next time.